Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to create this Terran with Claris. Here I'm using Instant Terra to generate the terrain, but you can also use other software. Once the terrain is created, we're going to export it, as well as several maps that will be used to texture the terrain in Claris. You can put a snow node to get a nice snowy landscape, but this is not what I want to show you today. I put a mask from heights node to extract the height map and I modify it a bit before exporting it. Then I have an export mesh node to export the terrain. I'm using different erosion nodes to create various effects on the terrain. What is cool with Instant Terra is that it can generate different high quality masks that will be extremely useful to texture your terrain in Claris. This one is a sediment deposition map. Let's export it. This one is a water accumulation map. Here I have another height map which is the result of this mountain erosion node. And finally this one which is very nice. It's the flow map of the terrain. OK, everything is ready. I just have to click on the export all button. I can see the terrain and the different masks that will be exported. Et voila! Now open Claris. Create a new context and rename it. Click on Import Geometry. Select the OBJ file that we have just exported. Don't import the materials. Zoom out by using the mouse wheel or press F to see the terrain. Here is our terrain in Claris. We now have to texture it. Let's create three new contexts. Texture. Mask. And mat. Click on the scene on the left. Then drag it and drop it onto the context on the upper right. Go to the mask context and import the masks that we have exported from Innocent Terra. Let's select the five masks. Here they are. Now go to the mat context and create a new mat material. Drag it and drop it onto the terrain. Then switch the shading mode to previs. Double click on the mat material to open its graph. Drag and drop a first mask in the material editor window. Connect it to the color input of the matte material. Go to the attribute editor window. Check use raw data. And select force luminance. Now we're going to create a gradient node. Let's connect it. Create a color gradient to define the position of the rock. Create a texture blend node. Connect it to the color input of the matte material and then connect the gradient node to the mix input of the blend node. Create a texture constant color node. Connect it to the input one of the blend node. Change the color of the constant color node. OK, let's arrange the graph a bit. Now let's do the same with another mask exported from Instant Terra. A texture gradient node. A texture blend node. A texture constant color node. Now create a new texture blend node. Connect both blend nodes to this new node. Then connect this one to the matte material. Switch the blend node from normal to add. Set the gradient so the entire terrain is filled with colors. 
Repeat the same operations for the three remaining masks exported from Instant Terra. Here is the final graph. One mask blended with another mask. A third mask. OK, now let's import some textures. Go to the Texture Context and select File, Import, Texture, Map File. Here are the five textures I'm going to use for this project. All you have to do is replace the constant color nodes by the textures of your choice. This one is a grass texture. Set correct values for the UV scale. This one is a darker grass texture. This one is a light brown texture. I'm using it for the flow. This one is a rock texture. And the last one is also a rock texture. Now let's modify the values of the gradients to set the position of the grass and the position of the rock. OK, now let's add some light. To do so, we're going to import an HDR file. Go to Lighting and click on the mountain icon on the right. Select the HDR file to import. To see the result, switch the shading mode to progressive rendering. For the moment, the terrain doesn't change because it has a matte material. We need to add a physical standard material. Connect the last blend node to the diffuse front colour input of the standard material. Now drag and drop the standard material onto the terrain. Decrease the value of the specular strength if you don't want the terrain to shine too much. And that's it. Your terrain is ready. You can now add your own assets and customise it your own way. To conclude this tutorial, here is a breakdown of the terrain. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you will create stunning landscapes with Claris.